Brad Hall here, and on this episode of What's in This Box, I've got something very special. Inside of here is an unreleased sneaker collab. On top of that, I have been told that this packaging inside of this box is absolutely top notch. So stay tuned, it should be pretty amazing. I already know a little bit too much about what's inside of here, so I'm not gonna make that guess today. I won't have a chance to improve on my rapidly improving record on this show. Now, before we get into it, I do have two quick updates. Number one, I did make contact with the what's in this box Waterloo winner, Ben Reeves. I will be sending him that Waterloo, and I'm also sending him a very special commemorative item. I think that shirt is the perfect way to honor that victory. So Ben Reeves, I will be sending that fairly soon. And now let's get back into this box. Here's what I know. This package was sent to me by Slam Jam. Thank you so much, Slam Jam. I really appreciate it. They have sent me something in the past, some very good looking stuff. So my expectations are high for this box. I also know it's an unreleased collaboration between Slam Jam and Converse. Now I'm not gonna guess on this one, but my gut does say a classic Converse model that also has some nice nods to Slam Jam. So I think that's what's inside, but again, not an official guess. The other thing I know about this, that packaging inside, it is supposed to be really remarkable. So I am excited for this full experience. Let's get into it. Big box in here. That's pretty interesting on that side. Look at this. Converse Slam Jam. So it slides out. I don't know how. There we go. That's the right way to do it. I would definitely agree that this packaging is pretty incredible so far. A very substantial box to get to two additional boxes and some goodies. So this is very exciting. I'm very impressed. Some really nice patches. Couple more. Good patches. My French is not that good, but I am thinking Fountain Blow. Someone probably correct me on that, but that's how I would read it. Look at that lovely imagery. You're getting that outdoorsy woodlands vibe. This one looks to be a man on either a big rock or a giant mushroom. So an outdoorsy kind of feel. Let's see if these shoes live up to that. Look at how pretty this is. So here we go. Let's see what we're working with. Now this, this really is an attention grabber. So it is not a Chuck Taylor, it's not a pro leather. It's a totally different type of model. It is a very eye-catching, bold design. This toe area, I love how kind of exaggerated that ribbing is. The upper has this nice silver thread running through it, and it's actually very lightweight. It could be a water-resistant material up here. Maybe it would be good for some summertime hikes. You've got an extra set of laces that would definitely dress them up. If you wore these into the forest, you would be the talk of the forest. Now look at this. This is very exciting, this texture on this lower midsole working its way onto the sole. It's very aggressive. It is just a very stylish, interesting model. And I'm very excited to check out that second pair now. A lot of the same design elements. You can see it right away. A white low top version of the black pair. Let me get these out here. Again, you've got that exaggerated detail on the toe. 
You've got this texture on that lower midsole sole area, that same lacing style. You've got extra laces for really making them pop. If I took these into the forest, I could see myself wearing this pair during the day when it's sunny out. You need to keep cool on your feet. And then at night, when things get a little bit more exciting, you wanna really put on a show. This is the one I would wear into the woods at night. Another episode of what's in this box in the books. Thank you so much to Slam Jam for sending me really cool looking forest shoes. Excited to get outdoors, put these on, turn some heads out there. Stay tuned, there will definitely be more Waterloo giveaways coming. So look out for that. And thanks everyone for watching.